Logan Kane here, and this is Shadowgate, episode one, official. Now, last time, it was more of a, let's make sure I want to do this. And this time, it's more of a, well, I actually lost the save when I was trying to deal with stuff. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The, I did notice one thing. At the entrance, you had that row of skulls above the, above the door. And apparently, one of the skulls is missing. So I thought maybe I could grab one of these. No. But anyway, uh, man, I'm already into the anyways. I really don't know where I'm going from here. Oh, right. I can press F2 to get the glowiness. Can I go in there? No, I can just look. All right, well, let's continue, because we already we expended that room last time. Ooh, keybinds. In certain difficulty modes, only commands pertinent to the selected object will appear on the wheel. What? Oh, so... On harder difficulties, I might just see all commands available. Okay. However, commands that do not appear on the wheel can still be performed using keybinds. You can view the key set, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to view the key set. You stand at the edge of a lava-filled chasm. Impossible, it seems. The faint, terrified screams of some unfortunate soul echo within its depths. So, there's that. Alright, I don't know if I want to walk across this rickety bridge. And, being Shadowgate, F5. I should probably make actual saves every once in a while, but... So, we got the chest. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Half-buried carved stone appears to be a keystone. Well, what if I try to use it? Okay, yeah, it's too heavy. Duh. Is this also a keystone, then? The carving on the keystone is of a circle within a shield outline. Strange writings cover the stone. You think you recognize the name Mahal amongst the hard to decipher language. Mahal, was that the... That's not how I do that. How do I get to my spells? I already forgot. That's right. Okay, that's invoking. Well, what about this thing? This metal brazier has a wild bo wild, wide bowl mounted on a tripod. The legs look like a series of inverted hooks, poorly welded together. I can hit it. Okay. You grab the legs of the metal stand, attempting to pull them apart. They are welded to the bowl of the bar Let's just hit it. You strike the brazier a mighty blow with your fist. The metal bowl separates with a clang and falls into the chasm, leaving the metal legs. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and take the legs. So I have a hook. I'm guessing I go over here into the blue door, because if I cross this, I'm going to die. Let's let's save and watch me die. But let's try and go over there. You take a hesitant step on the rickety bridge. The bridge sways and creaks alarmingly. You halt in mid-stride and step back off the bridge. Definitely doesn't seem safe. Perhaps there is some entity that could help you become lighter than air. Oh, I thought I had this... I thought I was getting this hook thing. Okay, that's just the bridge. I don't see anything else. Stand at the, le the edge of a lava-filled chasm. Impossible as it seems, the faint, terrified screams of some unfortunate soul echo within its depths. So that's, that's everything. Well, let's check it out. Because now I have a spear and a hook. I'm guessing I need some rope to use with this hook. Alright, well, let's, let's go on. Oh, gosh. A dense... A dense fog greets you as, as the stone passage opens into a small chamber. The temperature plummets as a creature materializes in front of you. It flinches from the light of your torch. Okay. So, what if I do this? Let's use this torch on this torch. You know, I want to observe this thing. Even though you've never seen one before, you know this is a shadow ray. A being that walks a line between life and day, between light and shadow. I, don't know, I just get the feeling that lighting these torches here are going to banish it. And uh, evidently I was wrong. <laughs> if I use the torch on him, with a cry you swing the lit torch at the wraith. Their real being is instantly enveloped in a bright flash of flame. Its tortured moan hanging in the air as it vanishes. Alright, so I guess... I did the wrong thing. Can I put it out? Because I don't want to... 
You take the lit torch before tossing aside the previous one. Okay, so I can't can't unlight the torches, so be careful with that. What do we got here? The rune is firmly attached to the wall, glowing with power. Truly, this must have belonged to... Bleh. Belonged to one of the wizards of the circle. Well, let's try and get it. You pull with all your might. Perhaps it's enchanted in some way. Or perhaps I can use one of my use my spear here, which I doubt. Can I pry it off? Okay. Oh right, it's not. I keep thinking it's a spear. It's an arrow. Maybe my hook can pry it off the wall. Since nothing happens after a few moments, you stop trying to use the hook on the rune. That's funny. What's this? What is this? Part of a large object. Okay, let's let's get that. It's a pumpkin. Painfully clear it's a pumpkin. Alright, so can I just open this door then? Alright, the door opens. Anything I can do with this? Uh, well, I guess I could try and cast my spell on it. I don't think that'll hurt. Invulcan. You know, I wish this would disappear when I go to the use, instead of making me close it. You visualize the glyph in your mind and force focus your will. When the pressure builds to an uncomfortable level, you release the spell with a word. The power dissipates quickly as it appeared. So I guess it did nothing? Yeah, I can't do it. Alright, let's move on. Oh. Well, that became different quickly. Whether it be a sewer or a reservoir system for the castle, mold, mildew, and moss bespeckle the bones within this chamber. Well, I guess that means I'm going to die because of sickness, even if I get out of this castle alive. Ooh, there's a thing up top. What's this? Alright, let's open up the scroll. What is it? You read the scroll. One particular word stands out. You see a, gl a glyph glowing with power. As you write down the strange marking in the sim... Blah! Strange marking in your spell book. The scroll crumbles in your hands. You've learned a spell. That's not what I want to do. Let's back up. Because, like hell, am I not going to try a new spell? What is this? Alright. The meaning of the spell glyph is clear. You whisper... Why am I whispering this? As the way... I can't read today, apparently. As the way seems to open in front of you, a metallic screech echoing the recess of, recess, recess of your mind. I am not doing well. I am not doing well. Alright. The effect produces some pretty fireworks and a headache, but little else. Alright. Let us move on then. Check out this thing. You pull back the bolt, opening a hatch. This looks familiar and scares me. <laughs> you jump and manage to fi find a handhold within the ha hatchway. After a fanatic moment or two, you manage to pull yourself through. Alright, key binding objects. Okay. You can bind anything in your inventory to some UI items. Yorick, thyself, and your current torch. To the 0 through 9 chain. Keys. Meh, I'm just not doing well. Anywho, select the object and then hold control and plus one of the number keys. Anytime you want to use that object, simply press the key, then click on the object you want to use it on. Okay, that makes sense. The room reminds you of the Elven Funhouse at King Otto's Fair. You remember taking your sister, hoping to lose her, in the reflective maze. What, what a dick. Alright, well. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the torches. Because, come on, why wouldn't I? Now let's gaze upon the mirror. You see a warped reflection of yourself. Nothing that... No, noting that you look, like, look nothing like when you started this adventure. Same. Same. Ooh, that one. You catch some movement behind your reflection. You jump back in surprise before looking around the room. A faint wrapping effect moves across the surface. Hey, I can break this one, but I can't break this one. You hit the grass, revealing metal underneath. Okay. The mirror cracks. Kind of shatters. Can I open it? What do you want me to do? It says metal can be seen behind this mirror. I don't understand. 
A jagged crack mars the reflective surface of this mirror. Metal can be seen behind the broken glass. Well, what if I want to look at the metal? You run your fingers across the jacket shards of broken glass. Ouch, that hurts. You mutter to yourself. Pulling out a splinter? Why did I get a splinter from gl whatever? Let's let's just get through this one. So something's moving. And I can't break these other ones. Can I use it? You run your fingers across the mirrors, looking for latches or releases. Nothing. Okay. What about this one? This one? Huh. Let's see. We got these stones that I can look at. Large boulder has veins of quartz running through it. Sits squarely on the floor. And veins of quartz. Finding a handhold, you attempt to lift. Yeah, nothing. You attempt to move, but unable. Finding a handhold, lift. Blah. Well, let's try and cast spells on things. Because I really don't know what else to do if I can't get beyond this part. So that one's just a headache. What if I go ahead and cast this other one on the rock? Now that I think about it... Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Now that I think about it, maybe it would have been a better idea to try and cast these spells on the mirror. Maybe I'm crazy. I think I'm crazy. But I haven't used a spell yet that does anything anyway. I've used them, so nothing happens. Alright, what else do I have? I guess I could try and use my hook. In fact, I'm going to control one my hook. So I should be able to press one and use the hook. Oh, that's much better. And what else do I have? I guess I have my dirk. And the arrow's not going to do anything. Let's make my dirk number one. And make the arrow number two. Because we're going to try it anyway. Because nothing is going to happen. See, I thought maybe hitting this mirror would do something. Well, I don't know what else to do. What's this back button do? Does it go down? A large block of cold granite is blocking the way behind me. Huh. Try and look at this one more time. And I catch movement, but I can't go through it. Huh. Well, that's a big waste of time. Well, let's go down here and see what's going on. Doesn't look like anything's here. Go. I don't think I can do anything with those. It's yeah, it's just the latch. Just the latch is showing up. So do I have anything else to do over here? I've tried using spells. I could use my dagger on it. No? Nothing. Nothing at all. Ooh, what if I... What if I cast this on myself? Let's see, visualize... It just blinds me. Okay. I'm really not seeing anything to do. Let's see, a figure po moves within the opening at the back of the grotto. He doesn't seem to pose any risk to you. Hmm. Wow, I just pressed F1 and that happened. I guess that switches to an old school view. Kind of, sort of. Not really. Well, let's try and cast this one into the opening. We cast the other one into the opening and nothing happened. Let's see, as you attempt to cast fill, a few a furtive movement within the cave messes with your concentration and explodes. Singeing my eyebrow. Just like the other one did. That's weird. I just went silent there for a second. I guess I'll back up. I don't I don't know what to do. Well let's talk to this guy. 
Better be sure you want my blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I want a hint. Blackmere is the one who brought you here. You should seek him out. Look for an obelisk. I need a different hint. That's the hint you're going to give me. Great. What about this thing? Oh, I forgot about this hatch. Maybe it... Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. What a weird spot for a map button. Let's try and entrance this. So nothing happened, and I'm betting the same thing's gonna happen. Absolutely nothing. Yep, yeah, looks like nothing happened. Not gonna bother reading that. Doesn't matter. And if I go back again, I'm outside again, aren't I? Yes, I am. Oh, and here's right here is that skull that area that was missing. That's it. I don't, I don't know what to do. Stop. Stuff. I want F2 to do something for me. Okay, I can't go back. And Yorick is just going to say... Oh, one of the skulls is missing from above the door. You should keep an eye out for it. Those skulls are all that remain of some of the greatest wizards of the Circle of Twelve. It is their magic that powers this castle. Alright, well, I guess I'll talk to Yorick in every room. Yeah, I tried using spells on it. This one... Let's see if he says the same thing. I'm sure he will. Yep, Black Mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to talk. So, still the Oblisk. Still with the Oblisk. There's really nothing in here except for these skulls, and they're not the correct skulls. What do you say here? Yep. I'll have to find a way to become light as air to get across. What do you have to say here? Black mirror again. And in here. What do you say? Tunnels look like they might lead. See if you can open any of them. Oh, so I can do stuff with those. Shit. Will not budge. Will not budge. You look a little aimless. Are you sure you know what your quest is? And that one opens. Well, I know we didn't get a whole lot done, but that's going to be it for episode one of Shadowgate. We'll go through the gate next time. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy.